Roughly 4.5 million people use e-cigarettes, vape pens or disposable vapes here in the UK. Designed to help smokers move away from traditional cigarettes, vapes are accepted as being a cleaner way to absorb nicotine and seen as a less harmful alternative to smoking. However, since the boom of disposable vapes in 2021, the UK government has been seeking to ban single-use devices due to concerns over health and waste ever since. So far, from the information we have, the ban will come in around 2025. So why is the ban happening? The ban is due to two factors, which are the pollution, the number of disposable vapes discarded in the UK per week in 2023 was an estimated 5 million and soared from 1.3 million in 2022. Given there's already an issue with single-use plastic and with the ban on, on plastic straws and cutlery, it seems to be a bit of double standard not to place the same restrictions on disposable vapes. Technically, disposable vapes are recyclable. However, the fact they contain an integrated battery is what poses the problem. Plastic materials and batteries aren't recycled together. Therefore, when you send them to the landfill, there are still some work to do. Although there are some brands that have created a dismantable disposable vape for this exact purpose, you could argue most of the UK population won't bother disposing of these. On the other hand, the counter argument would be that the government hasn't set any easy recycling system in place. Both of these factors lead to littering and it's a lot of littering. Next, there is concerns about health, particularly in young people. In the UK, it is illegal to purchase uh, vaping products if you're under the age of 18. Responsible online retailers like us here at ET have a strict age verification system in place. No fake ID will help you get in here. Sadly, these devices are being sold under the counter where ID isn't even considered and end up in the hands of people under the age of 18. Here at ET, we have a saying, if you don't smoke, don't vape. Vaping is designed to help smokers move away from traditional cigarettes. Vaping contains nicotine, which is an addictive substance. What exactly is being banned? First, it's important to define what a disposable vape is under UK law, so you know exactly what the ban entails. The single-use vape ban targets what we know as disposables. They can't be refilled or recharged, therefore once they're empty, they're simply thrown away. Will all vape users be affected? If you're someone who relies solely on disposable vapes, you're gonna be affected when the ban comes in. For many users, no longer being able to pick up a simple ready to use device may drive them back to cigarettes. But there is a solution, reusable vapes. Many online retailers that sell vaping products like ET can help you transition to refillable kits and e-liquid. These are perfectly legal and can allow you to enjoy a wide range of different nicotine strengths and flavors without needing to throw the vape pen away after the battery dies. Can I still buy slash order disposable vapes now? Even though this law will come into effect next year, you can still buy and order disposable vapes. International online ordering. We know what you're thinking, this law only impacts the UK, so if I order a disposable vape from another country via the mail, it wasn't technically bought in the UK. It sounds like a logical loophole, but you would be wrong. The UK is one of the first countries globally to pass this law, but internationally a lot of countries are following suit. So while it may seem like you have an ace up your sleeve to order disposable vapes from an EU country, it's not a viable option in the long term. So if you're caught with a disposable vape or a company is caught selling these products, what will happen? At a glance, it seems that there's some serious repercussions. Nothing more has been confirmed as of yet. This law will fall under the powers already in place. Therefore, according to these laws, if a company is found to be selling disposable vapes, the local authority or trading standards may impose a hefty fine. This is similar to the law surrounding selling tobacco products to children who are underage. Same sort of thing. Now, if you're looking to purchase a disposable vape, what does it mean if you're caught with one? there's unlikely to be any sort of punishment. The local authorities only consider the sale of disposable vapes as an offence. Our advice for all adult vapors is to get ahead of the game and explore refillable, rechargeable and reusable options instead. We hope this video has helped you better understand the upcoming disposable ban and until next time, we will see you later.